the year of movies about objects and inventions we've all taken for granted it continues. Hi everyone, it's me, uh, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Welcome to Raise on Popcorn, Grant everybody. And today we are talking about a movie, movies and TVs that we do here, and that movie is Flamin' Hot. Uh, Flamin' Hot is uh, directed by Eva Longoria. Yes, that Eva Longoria. It is her future directorial debut. Um, the, of course, the actor uh, Eva Longoria, you know, seen her on t a lot of uh, TV and movies, the Overboard remake, for instance, uh, she had a appearance on George Lopez, and so she now she's directing this film. So what is Eva, and she also was on a TV show, I don't think I, was she on Desperate Housewives? I think she was on Desperate Housewives. Anyway, I never watched it, so I don't know, <laughs> honestly, I'm sorry, I don't know for sure. Um, but uh, this is a film directed by her, and directed quite well, I must say. Uh, so what is Flamin' Hot about? Well... Uh, first and foremost, it is now streaming on Hulu and Disney+, Plus, so uh, two very, very different options. Um, I watched it on Hulu. So what is the film about? Well, uh, the film centers on uh, Richard Montanez, played by Jesse Garcia, who is uh, struggling, uh, born in the 1960s in a time of incredible racism toward everybody, um, including um, Latinx people. Um... Richard is be, uh, starting to begin sort of a criminal lifestyle, and uh, as this starts to happen, he uh, finds a way out of that life. He be, he uh, marries and begins a family with um, his great love and childhood friend Judy, played by Annie Gonzalez in a, I think, scene-stealing performance. Um, she's kind of the heart of this movie. And eventually, through some connections, uh, gains a job um, at uh, the Frito-Lay Chip Company as a janitor. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, begins to notice that uh, the plant that he works at is starting to, in California, is starting to crumble. And uh, the president of the company, Roger Enrico, played by Tony Shalhoub, the great Tony Shalhoub, uh, needs a solution. Um, very, very, very uh, quickly at a... Uh, cookout with his young son. He comes on um, on an epiphany. His son eats a spicy food, some spicy food, and says, "Oh, it's hot." And he goes, and he says, "Then stop eating it." And he goes, "No, hot in a good way." And so that gives him an idea. We are going to put um, spicy powder on the chips, the Cheetos, the popcorn, the uh, Doritos chips, and. Uh, this is uh, the story of how that happens, and that would go on to be known as Flamin' Hot uh, brand. The Flamin' Hot uh, brand, which also found its way to Mountain Dew, like, all sorts of different things. And this is this is the story of how uh, Richard uh, begins his uh, journey to becoming, uh, to a better life for him and his family. This is the true, mostly, story. Uh, let the, the uh, uplift and humor begin. So... Uh, Flamin' Hot is uh, a really good movie. I really dug it. Um, what I liked about it, is, is it a movie with deep, deep substance? Not really. But I, uh, Richard is a likable character. Uh, Jesse Garcia gives a very good performance. Judy, his wife, is even better. I really like her character. Um, Annie Gonzalez is terrific. And it's impossible not to root for this family. To him and his kids. Uh, his youngest son, um is, um, I can't quite put my finger on who the actor is. He's the grandson from Lopez versus Lopez. He sees, has some great scenes as sort of their youngest son, who also becomes a little bit of a, a taste tester for the, the spicy powder, eventually. Um, and Tony Shalhoub is great as always. Dennis Haysbert also is, uh, really terrific. Uh, yeah, the Allstate guy is really... You could say that uh, Richard is in good hands. I'm lame. Uh, no, but the great Dennis Haysbert, one of our finest character actors, is sort of the mentor to Richard. He's a co-worker who also is trying to go up the ladder. And it's just a really uplifting, charming movie. It's not... It, it very... And very clever. And it, it does kind of give you the feels. It tugs the heartstrings. Now, of the recent run of movies where we've had, like, Tetris, Blackberry, Air, 
This is kind of the lowest on the totem pole for me, just as a movie. It's not quite... It doesn't quite reach the levels of those other three to me. Especially Blackberry, which I think is the tippy, tippy, tippy top. But it's enjoyable. So, um, I don't even know if there's that much more to say. One thing I will say, though, is that I was really impressed with Eva Longoria's filmmaking for a first-time director. There's one scene in particular in which we see the sort of the Reagan years in time-lapse um, in this sort of one or across the, the factory floor of, of the plant, and we see the year markers appearing on objects like um, the, the Cheetos that are being furled through the machines and like the mop hitting uh, the, the, it being on the floor that the mop is cleaning up, and it, it follows it from year to year up to 1990, uh, uh, 92 even, on this uh, conveyor belt. Now, that was kind of a neat trick, you know, little things like that that I really appreciated. Um, it's not just text on the screen, like there's actually, it, it's appearing on objects on the line. It's hard to describe unless you've seen the movie, but it's, yeah. Um, I really dug that, and I really dug Flamin' Hot. I'm not, um, I enjoyed it. I'm not going to go all the way, but you know what? I'm going to go pretty far. I'm going to give Flamin' Hot four and a half out of five stars. This was a very enjoyable movie that, honestly, the whole family would like. This is a good movie, um, pretty, uh, PG-13, but very mild PG-13. This is a, this is a charming, charming movie. I highly recommend Flamin' Hot. So, yeah, that's it. Um, four and a half out of five stars. Let's close the book on it. What a gem so far. So far in June, there have been no bad movies so far. Which makes me think that the bad is coming. <laughs> but that being said, uh, so yeah, four and a half out of five stars for Flamin' Hot. Let's close the book on it. Trailer Traction on, watch it on Hulu. Was there shawarma? No, there was not. Although there was some graphics at the beginning that are kind of cool. That build to something, that's all I'll say. But other than that, no. Nothing during or after. So, uh... That's it. We will be back next week where we will have reviews of The Flash, uh, Elemental, The Blackening, Stan Lee, Jagged Mind, and an early review of the Robert Sisters' second film, A View from the World from Fifth Avenue. I think that's what it's called. A View of the World from Fifth Avenue. So that's all coming up. Um, and then we also, on the horizon, have Mad Heidi, uh, Asteroid City, No Hard Feelings, and uh, The Room Anniversary Review. So that's all coming up. And uh, Indiana Jones, The Dial Destiny, and Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. So that's all coming up. Then it'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you all, class I love you 3000. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does. That's what you're supposed to do. Or so I've been told. Leave a comment, even if it's, hey, Grant, I like waffles. It really helps out. Um, if you want to find me also reviews, listen to different stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raisin Popcorn with Grant, Twitter at Race Grant, Facebook Raisin Popcorn with Grant, uh, Instagram at Raisin Popcorn with Grant, serialized, all one word, all lowercase, Raisin Popcorn, check out my podcast, Raisin Popcorn with Grant, the podcast on Spotify and Anchor, some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourselves, take care of your mental health, it's incredibly important, and I want to know down below, what did you think of Flamin' Hot, did you like the movie, did you hate the movie? If you think my opinion is good, think I'm full of shit, comment below, let me know. And until we meet again, we were all raised on popcorn. Make my extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone. See you around. Bye.